Hey, what's happening, everybody? Mac the Duel is coming at you again from the TCG Enterprise, where we talk about all your favorite card games. And hey, you guys, it's time for another update on Dark World. So I have another uh, Dark World deck profile for you guys to check out. I actually made quite a few improvements towards this uh, deck. So let's go ahead and get on into it. Uh, first things first, you guys, we're going to be, of course, going with two Lava Golem. Uh, it's a really, really good card right now. Uh, it's around the ranges between anywhere to be between uh, five to eight bucks or so. Um, you can get it off from TCG Player. Uh, but yeah, definitely two Lava Golem. Um, it's a level eight, which is perfect for this deck. It synergizes around level eights anyway. Um, you uh, can be normal summoner set. You have to tribute summon it uh, by selecting two monsters on your opponent's side to bring that out. You'll take a thousand damage at the end, but I mean, who cares? Um, on your standby phases, you'll still, you'll still take out for the damage. Uh, but either way, um, it's a small price to pay, so still go ahead and start clearing out the board. And then, of course, we're going with two Graffa. It's Graffa. You need to have two. Some are running three. It's a little too cloggy. I would definitely say just keep with the two and uh, stick it to where it is. And then we have three. Snow searches out for your Dark Royal cards. You need to have those uh, to replenish all the time. One Silva. It's Silva. You need to have that for your uh, loop to set up for on your plays. And then we're going to be going with three Rainbow, uh, Over King of the Dark World. Uh, you need to have three. Every deck is running three of this guy. It's uh, substantial. Uh, anything less than that, it's not worth it. You need to have a lot of backups to go through it. Three of the Genta. This will allow you to go ahead and get your gates of the dark world. So you need to have three. Uh, it's easily to get searched out. You can search out for your gates, get it off right off the bat. Uh, one Sorelli, uh, it helps you uh, to go ahead and get off for your loop plays, to go ahead and give it to your opponent, to go ahead and get off for your Silva and start comboing off like mad. Um, then we have one Parl, uh, Hermite of the Dark World. It's always good to have, just a one of. Um, and then we're going to be going with three Nessie. I know it's different rarities. I don't care. This one's secret rare, so that's fine. Um, anyways, three Nessie is, uh, substantial now, uh, to have for the deck. Then we have one Bigfoot, also substantial for the deck. One Thunderbird. I only have two Mothman at the moment, but if you could throw in a third, go ahead and do so. It helps out with the deck a lot. One Suchinoko and one Jackalope. Um, I don't have Chupacabra at the moment. Uh, I took it out for something else, um, and unfortunately I didn't have time to put it back in, um, but that's okay. Uh, run a Chupacabra in there, why not? It's very creature heavy anyways for this deck. Uh, all the monsters you want to be able to uh, utilize in this deck is very substantial. Uh, one new card actually that I put into here was uh, Kokai Miro Guardian. This is actually really good, especially if you're going to get hand trapped. You can negate off the effect that uh, is being played at the moment there. Um, by revealing one. So if you keep one into the hand, go ahead and have one of these out here. Uh, it helps out a lot against a lot of hand traps, especially draw and lock bird, uh, which targets off for your uh, negation of your draws. So if you wanted to search and draw and discard and everything like that, um, obviously draw and lock bird would prevent that kind of stuff. But then if you have the Kokai Miro, it will negate that effect. So saving you at least one turn to go ahead and get your plays out if you're able to. That's it for the monster side. On towards the spell side, it's actually pretty uh, pretty cool. I actually upgraded a little bit. Uh, so we're going to be going with three Allure of Darkness. This is Allure of Darkness. It's a dark deck. You need to run three. Uh, very substantial. It's your draw power for the deck. Two Dark Corridor. Yeah. I finally got my Dark, uh, dark Corridors after so long. Um, I managed to go ahead and get them. You only need two. Some are running one for some reason, but two is always good to have. Unless you get your Dark World monster from your deck to your hand, then to discard one, it's always good. Um, then we have two gates of the Dark World. This is your search off from your Genta, so you want to get these out right away. Uh, you need to run two. Three is a little too cloggy, but two is perfect. Then we're going to be having uh, Dark World Ascension. Uh, we need to have two of these. It's always good. It's a great uh, quick play. And then we have one uh, Dark World Puppetry, one Archives, one uh, Card Destruction. Go ahead and replenish off for your hand. Why not? As far as our traps, Dark World Punishment is a counter trap. And honestly, a lot of people are not running this card. Though I feel it's very substantial that you should be running this card. So be definitely running into this card, you guys, uh, in your decks. It always helps out in the tight spot. 
Then as far as our extra deck goes, we're going to be going with two Grafa the Fusion. It always helps. You need to run two of these guys um, until uh, we get some more support that's going to be hopefully coming in soon. Um, definitely uh, start building up your extra decks with this guy. The extra deck is pretty much st uh, staying the same, you guys. Number 100, the number 38 on Hope Harbinger. And then we have number 68, number 33, or sorry, 23, I should say. Uh, we have a Piss Dweller, number 22, Zombie Stein. We have a Coach King, Gi uh, Giant Trainer. A lot of people are wondering about Giant Trainer. It's actually a really, really good card, honestly. Um, it allows you to go ahead and get a draw of the card, and you reveal it. And if it was a monster, you can inflict 800 to your opponent, which is really, really, really good. One number to, uh, 97, Dragoobalian. It's always good. You run your uh, dragon package into this thing really hardcore. makes it a lot, a lot of fun. And then we have our uh, Skull Dread. I might switch that out for something else. Um, maybe. And then we have a Nightmare Unicorn, a Phoenix, and Griffin. Those are always good to have. And finally, we have one Underworld Goddess, just for fun. Uh, no side deck at the moment, but the side decks are pretty self-explanatory. A lot of the side decks are actually running a lot of anti-hand um, trap stuff. Uh, they're also running a lot of um, uh, droplets and uh talents and all that other kind of stuff and unfortunately stuff that i don't have at the moment uh but once i update this profile you guys will definitely see uh an upgrade for it um i have other videos that are also going to be coming in so stay tuned in for that you guys please show your guys the support and if you guys like this uh deck at the moment here feel free to go ahead and comment down below what you guys like about it uh what other suggestions you guys want to end up seeing please like and subscribe and comment down below uh also uh anything you want to end up seeing next uh live streams are going to be coming up soon as well and hit the post notification bell you guys so you don't miss a beat and i'll catch you guys all in the next time happy gaming